Welcome to Central Moments. Have you ever had, uh, like from that day on, things were different kind of experience in your life? Uh, perhaps it's when you came to Christ, you were saved. I mean, from that day on, the burden of sin was lifted from you and your life began to change. Or maybe when you were baptized in the Holy Spirit and, and you can say, you know, from that day on, I just had a zeal to be used by God and there was anointing in my life that had never been there before. And God's word became clearer to me than ever before. Uh, maybe the baptism of the Holy Spirit was a from that day on kind of moment. Uh, I, I just want to say today, could be a from that day on moment for you. And, and this is where Haggai goes. He's winding up his short prophetic messages to uh, the people in Jerusalem as they had begun, they had re, restarted the, the rebuilding of the temple in Jerusalem. In verse 15, he says, Now give careful thought to this from this day on. And so he introduces that little phrase, from this day on. And um, he says, remember, so what, what day does he want them to remember? Basically, remember how things were before one stone was laid on another in the Lord's temple. Remember those 16 years, there was just a foundation. You had neglected uh, building on that foundation and finishing the temple of the Lord. He says, so think back before you restarted uh, the rebuilding. Uh, when anyone came to a heap of 20 measures, there were only 10. When anyone went to a wine vat to draw 50 measures, there were only 20. I struck all the work of your hands with blight and mildew and hail. You did, yet you did not return to me. He said, all those years where you neglected, you started and then you neglected the rebuilding of my temple. When when your priorities were self-interest and selfish pursuits, when you had your own furnished houses, but my house was lying desolate. He said, remember those days. Um, and, and you lived like under a curse that made life frustrating. And it's, no matter how hard you worked, you were never fulfilled. You never seemed to have enough. He's kind of reviewing the same idea he had laid out in front of them in the very first chapter. I struck all the work of your hands, again, verse 17, with blight and mildew and hail, yet you did not return to me. And may I just say that's a frustrating way to live. We, we sometimes say, I, you know, I want Jesus' blessings, but I want, I want to live my own way. I'm, I don't, I'm, not con I'm concerned about being forgiven, but I'm not concerned about obedience in my life and truly following the Lord. And uh, I want to tell you, God knows how to make your life frustrating. But, and here he brings it again, verse 18, from this day on, and he actually names the day on the calendar, from this 24th day of the ninth month, give careful thought to the day when the foundation of the Lord's temple was laid, or that could be translated when, when the building of, of the Lord was laid. So this is when they restarted the rebuilding of the temple. Yeah, from that day, he said, from that day on, from this 24th day of the ninth month, give careful thought to the day when the foundation of the Lord's temple was laid. Give careful thought. Is there yet any seed left in the barn? Until now, the vine and the fig tree, the pomegranate and the olive tree have not borne fruit. So that this is kind of towards the winter. They're getting ready for the winter planting. He looks like back, remember the spring planting uh, half a year ago. He said it, it didn't come to anything. But since that time, you started aligning your priorities back with me. And, and it's from that day on, I want you to notice that there's a difference. I mean, the crops from half a year ago, you, you will see there's, there's not much fruit because you were living under that frustrating curse. But from this day on, things are gonna change. And that's where he goes in the last half of verse 19. From this day on, I will bless you. May that be the case today. I don't know what you've been through. I don't know what you're facing. But through faith, through saying, God, I submit myself to you. I trust you. May this be a from this day on moment in your life. Things can be different tomorrow than they were yesterday. New seasons of God's initiative can be birthed in our lives. I, I just believe it doesn't happen every day, but I just believe there are days that turn things around when God steps in. And so, Father, we pray for a this day on moment, if we need that, that you would just touch us today, that you would just intervene today in such a way that from this day on, 
things will be different. From this day on, may we pursue your priorities like never before and then watch what you can do. From this day on, may we be filled with the Holy Spirit in a new way. From this day on, would you take us, Lord? In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.